Hello all of you welcome to my channel in this video we are going to study class 9th chapter 2nd the adventures of toto from moments book the adventures of toto is written by ruskin bond first of all we will see about the writer ruskin bond is an eminent contemporary indian writer of british descent he prophetically authored inspiring children's books and he was awarded the sahitya academy award to honor his work of literature now we will discuss about our lesson the adventures of toto this is a humorous and adventurous story of a naughty monkey named toto the writer's grandfather bought the monkey from a tongo driver The pranks played by Toto have been narrated in an interesting way. We must read this story and we should know more about Toto. Have you ever had a baby monkey as a pet? Before that, you heard about that baby monkey as a pet? Toto is a baby monkey. Hear that? Toto is a baby monkey. Is that monkey baby name is Toto? Let's find out whether he is mischievous or docile. A word mischievous means liking to behave badly and embarrassing or annoying people. A word docile means quiet and easy to control. Grandfather bought Toto from a Tonga driver for the sum of 5 rupees. The writer's grandfather purchased a monkey named Toto from a Tonga driver by paying 5 rupees to him. The Tonga driver used to keep the little red monkey tied to a feeding trough. A word Tonga means horse cart and a word trough means a long narrow container from which farm animals eat or drink. The Tonga driver had tied the little red colored monkey to a feeding trough so that he could not run away and the monkey looked so out of place there that grandfather decided to he would add the little fellow to his private zoo a word zoo means all of you know a park where many kinds of wild animals are kept so that people can look at them and where they are bred studied and protected when the writer's grandfather saw the monkey he had a desire to add him to the collection of animals which he had in his zoo at home toto was a pretty monkey his bright eyes sparkled with mischief beneath deep set eyebrows writer gives a description of toto the writer told about the baby monkey he told that he had bright shiny eyes which were full of mischief the eyebrows were deeply set on his face and his teeth which were a pearly white were very often displayed in a smile that frightened the life out of elderly anglo indian ladies his teeth were like pearls many ladies belonging to the anglo indian community got scared when they saw his teeth which were displayed when he smiled but his hands looked dried up as though they had been pickled in the sun for many years baby monkeys hands were dried and wrinkled as if they had been dried in the sun like a pickled vegetables at his fingers were quick and wicked and his tail while adding to his good looks grandfather believed a tail would add to anyone's good looks also served as a third hand he had a long tail the writer's grandfather though that tell added to the good looks of an animal 
Toto's tail was like a third hand for him. He could use it to hang from a branch and it was capable of scooping up any delicacy that might be out of reach of his hands. It helped him hang from the branch of a tree. He also used it to lift objects which were beyond his hands reach. Grandmother always fussed when grandfather brought home some new bird or animal. Here the writer's grandmother was against the grandfather attitude of bringing new pets, birds and animals. So it was decided that Toto's presence should be kept a secret from her until she was in a particularly good mood. So the grandfather thought that they should conceal this fact from her until she was in a good mood. We are not going to tell her about Toto. We will hide from her when her mood was good that time we will tell her. Grandfather and I put him away in a little closet opening into my bedroom wall. The writer and his grandfather secured Toto in a little cupboard in the writer's room where he was tied securely or so we thought to a peg fastened into the wall. In order to be sure, the grandfather and the writer that Toto did not escape, they tied him to a hook in the wall. A few hours later, when grandfather and I came back to release Toto, we found that the balls which had been covered with some ornamental paper chosen by grandfather now stood out as a naked brick and plaster. After some time or after few hours, the writer and his grandfather both they came to see the Toto and to release Toto. They found that where they have tied Toto near a ball at a pack, the ball was totally uncovered. Before few hours, that ball was covered with ornament paper chosen by my grandfather. But in this time, that is a naked or we can say that is a uncovered. Now in this time, we are able to see naked brick and plaster. The peg in the ball had been breached from his socket and my school blazer which had been hanging there was in shreds. They both notice that the Toto had broken the hook and had escaped from his binding. Also he tore the my blazer into thin pieces. Here my means writer's blazer into thin pieces. The Toto tore the writer's blazer into thin pieces. I wondered what grandmother would say but grandfather did not worry. He seemed pleased with Toto's performance. The writer was worried about that when his grandmother knew about this wall condition then she will be angry. But I have noticed that my grandfather is nothing worried about that what Toto did. But grandfather was very happy with Toto's performance. He is clever, said grandfather. Given time, I am sure he could have tied the tore pieces of your blazer into a rope and made his escape from the window. The grandfather was telling that he is very clever. If we have given some more time to him, then I am sure he is able to tie the tore pieces of your blazer into a rope and he is able to escape from window.